The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkness of valleys, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. On today, I'd like to welcome you to Good Hope Missionary Baptist Church. Wherein hope in Christ never dies, we welcome you on today. If you're live in the building or you're tuning in virtually, we welcome you. And we just ask that you sit back and enjoy the service and let God have his way. Amen and amen. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Jesus gave it to me. I'm 
Now, if you really gonna let it shine, let, let it shine. I'm let it shine. Stand up on your feet and let's give God the glory. Let's tell the Lord everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. I let it shine at the gas station when I'm in Kroger. I'm gonna let it shine. If God been good to you, come on, clap your hand. Let's tell the Lord, I'm going to let it shine. Well, can't nobody. Come on, y'all help me now. Oh, okay. Do me like the Lord. There is nobody. I know. Come on, if you're free, come on, sing it now. He picked me up, turned me around. He picked me up and turned me around. He picked me up. You ought to be happy about it. I know. Come on, let's go to church one more time. Well, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Well, can't nobody hold me like Jesus. Standing all over the building. Can't nobody. Amen. All heads bowed and all hearts humble. Eternal God, our Father. Father, once again, we just want to stop right now just to say thank you. Father, we thank you for sending your angels to breathe upon our face this morning. Father, we thank you for the grand rising on today. Father, we know that can't nobody do it but you. Father, we know that if it had not been for you that was on our side, as we slept and slumbered all night long. Father, as the pain went through our bodies, Father, you sent the healing. Father, and right now, we just want to stop just to say thank you. Thank you for all that you're about to do. Father, we thank you for everything that's been done. Father, we thank you for the victories. Father, we thank you for the battles that's been won. Father, we thank you for the good health reports. Father, we thank you for bringing us through. Father, but right now, Father, we just ask that you stop by. 
Stop by I Good Hope Missionary you. Baptist Church on today. Father, somebody need to be rocked in your arms, Father. Father, somebody need to be held tight, Father. Somebody needed to be allowed to know that everything is going to be all right. Father, we just want to start right now just to say thank you. Father, we love you. Father, we can't do this without you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. On the back of your bulletin, amen. You'll find the declaration of faith. Amen. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. The declaration of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, buried, descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again, ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the recreation of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Right. Come on. I saw my friend out there. Sticks. Come on, Sticks. Please. my future oh. because of my pain like that.
the best, the best, the best, the best. God's all the best. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, 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 oh. you love me for my good. you love me through my good and my bad y'all gonna sing with me this morning y'all gonna help me y'all gonna help me back there sing your choir <laughs> sing your choir y'all gonna help me back there I'm gonna ask this lady right here I can't think of her name with me she should be pointing to it. She turned her head everywhere. Come on. Miss Pearl. I'm going to start it off for you, Miss Pearl. Now I want you to come get it, okay? Miss Pearl, come on. This morning when I rose, yeah. Right early this morning when I got out of my bed. Right early this morning when I rose. Y'all sing that thing like you mean it. I know the Lord. Hey. This morning when I rose, yeah, I didn't have no doubt. Yeah, this morning when I rose, yeah, I didn't have no doubt.
Father in heaven, we thank you for how you kept us, how you held us, how you blessed us. We thank you, O oh God, how you laid us down last night and woke us up with your ever loving arms of protection. Yes, you're real, real, you're real. I feel it deep down in Heart. Lord, you held back all hurt, harm, and danger. But yet there are times you put food on our table and clothes on our backs. No answer. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Somebody this morning is shedding us and come. A tear for a loved one. Father, we thank you that things are well with us as they are. If we are willing, come and have thine own way, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, oh God. Have, have your way, oh God. Come in this place. celebrate your word as we he knows. hear your word. Come now, dear Heavenly Father. He knows just Bless this, oh. your humble servant. How much Hold me, dear Heavenly Father, in the hollow of your hand. You can Hide bear. me in the shadow of the cross. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redemption. It's in Jesus' magnificent name we do pray. Amen and amen. Come on, put those sanctified hands together. Put those sanctified hands together for what God has done, for what God is doing, for what God is about to do. Amen, 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 amen. Has he been good to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Has he been good to you? Yes, sir. <laughs> he, he kept you. Amen. Hallelujah. Giving honor to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We thank God for what 
our ears have heard, for what our eyes have seen, and for what we have felt in our hearts. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're not going to stay before you long. We're honoring those who are in their honored positions. We thank God for you, giving honor to the lady of the house. We thank God for you and, and the ministers who are present. And certainly we thank God for he being God all by himself. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. I invite your attention this morning. Amen. And like I said, I'm not holding you long. Uh, let's go to the Psalms this morning. Psalms 91. One of my favorite psalms. Psalms 91, whatever medium you have in your hand, <coughs> on your phone, on your tablet, uh, amen, we ask that you find yourselves in Psalms 91, Psalms 91, and let's rest to our feet if you can, amen, in reverence of the reading of God's word. I if you don't mind, and I don't want to worry your patience. I want to read the entire psalm in your hearing. Psalms 91 reads thusly from the King James Version. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust thee with, he, with his feathers. Uh, with his feathers under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor by the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that waiteth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But... <laughs> it shall not come nigh thee. Right. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up <laughs> to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. Shall thou trample under foot? Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver you. I will, I will set thee his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Give the Lord a hand for his word. Give the Lord a hand for his word. For the time that we have together for a few moments, I want to speak to you about God's security system. 
God's security system. The other week, the other week, about two weeks ago, the doorbell rang. And it was a guy selling security systems. Now, I had the sign in the yard, the signs on the windows, but he still came to solicit me to buy his security system. He wanted us to switch from ours <laughs> to his. Why? Because he said his was so much better. He mentioned everything that his could do. Turn on the exterior lights, the interior lights. It, it can turn on anything that we will it to do once we put it in our cell phone. And we can do all of this from our cell phone. Amen. And I, I told him, I said, well, mine can do the same thing. But then after I told him mine could do the same thing, he went on uh, to tell me about my neighbors who had signed up with him, <laughs> yep. trying to get me to sign up with him because they signed up with him. Right, right, right. But he failed, he failed, he failed uh, to know that I know my neighbors. <laughs> and the same signs that he had, they had in their yard years ago was the same signs, amen, that they had that day. But isn't that the way the world does? The world would want us to sign up with them. The world says that they got a better thing going for them and that we ought to be able to uh, sign up with the world and go the way the world wants us to go. This young man said that his system would never fail, that it would go 24-7, 365 a year, as long as I have internet, <laughs> and as long as the backup battery will work. Notice how he put as long as. Do I have a witness? So that lets me know that his system and my system huh, do the same thing and does not guarantee uninterrupted security. But I have to let somebody know this morning that God has a security system that does not rely on the internet. God has a security system that does not rely on the battery backup. But do I have a witness? God have a system that when we call on him, whether it's in the midnight hour, whether it's in the morning, uh -huh. God's security system works for us. Yes. I look at the world today and I'm, I'm hearing that there are millions, really tens of millions of people who's coming to the shores of the United States of America simply because they've heard and want to be a part of uh, the security and the opportunities that this land offers them. But I need to tell somebody right through here that what you see oftentimes is not what you get. Amen. Do I have a witness? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, this is a good country in which we live in. Yes, we do have opportunities of on top of opportunities. But then when you uh, pull back the curtain. Yeah, yeah. When you understand exactly how the system works, uh, the system says that your security is not all, all secure. Uh, the system says that the opportunities uh, that we ought to have, we really don't have them. Do I have a witness? 
So I like Psalms 91. I like Psalms 91 uh, for so many reasons. One of the reasons that I like Psalms 91 is because it is uh, a song of praise and a song of protection for everyone who believes, for everyone who is a follower of God and know that God has their back. Psalm 91 is a psalm that says that when you become a part of the family and the household of God, that there are some rights that comes to you simply because you hold God in high esteem, simply because you know that God will make a way out of no way. I know there are times when we don't feel secure in life. And when you look at the evilness that's in this world today, yes, it seems like we're not protected. It seems like that we are not really uh, 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 secure. But I've come to tell somebody this morning and myself that there is a blessed assurance and knowing that the Lord will grant his children safety in the midst of danger. Do I have a witness? And, and I like Psalms 91 because uh, the psalmist sings this sweet, melodious song. And he sings the stanzas of this song. And he tells us that God is a place of refuge and safety for those who love the Lord. He tells us, amen, that God will hold us in the hollow of his hands. Amen. He tells us that God is good. Amen. He tells us that everything will work out for our good. But I need you to understand that even though Psalm 91 has all these promises, amen, I need you to understand that you've got to realize that with all the promises, danger will still come our way. And he promises, amen, that he will come in the time of our needs and he will help us when we face danger. But you got to understand. <laughs> uh, you got to understand that danger will come. You got to understand that trials and tribulations will come. And when they come, amen, you don't feel as secure as the word of God promises. But I'm here to tell you. You can put your foot down on it. That the promises of God, yea and amen. Do I have a witness? And when when we put the put our foot down on the promises of God, God sees and knows that we're standing on his promises. Well, look at verse one and look at verse two. It says that he dwelleth. He lives in the secret place of the Most High. That we'll be able to abide under the shadow of the Most High. That he is our refuge and our fortress. Uh, our God and in him will I trust. Well, how, how, how do you feel secure in an unsecure world? How do you sign up and be a part of God's security system? I'm glad you asked. The first thing that we got to do is draw near. Drawing near to God says, Lord, I, I trust you. Not only draw near, but come close. We run away from a whole lot of things. Amen. And oftentimes we run away from the church. 
but draw ye near. Don't be scared. <laughs> Come close to him. Live in his presence. It's like a, free, a, a sweet fragrance uh, that comes to our nostrils. And my wife have allergies and she can't be in and around certain fragrances because it affects uh, her alanoids. And she would be uh, sick and be infected. But I'm here to tell you that when you draw close into the presence of the Lord, his presence is like a fragrance that comes in our nostrils and will not give you allergies. His fragrance come and makes us warm all over. But in order for you to feel warm all over, you got to get close. You got to get close. How do you get close to God? You talk to him. You let him know that you're in need. You let him know, amen, that you want him. Right then and now, you got to know, you got to let him know that he is needed. And you got to let him know that you're waiting for his answer. And I'm here to tell you that God is our refuge. God is our fortress. I wish you get this, this, this picture because when you come close, when you draw near to God, <laughs> Amen. When you draw near to him and live in his holy presence, you will find a secret place. You will find a hiding place. And you will know that God is with you. Get this picture. Get this picture. Amen. That he is a refuge. He is a fortress. And I need you to understand when God puts you, when you're in the palm of God's hand, amen, a refuge is something that shields you from the elements that's outside. Uh, but a fortress, whoo, a fortress, a fortress, a fortress, is something that's built around you that stops the enemy from getting inside. Do I have a witness? And I'm so glad that when I come into the presence of God and when I get in the secret place, it's easy to get into a secret place with God because all you got to do is just slide, slip, and get into a quiet place. You don't even have to have no long, drawn-out prayer, but know that you're in the secret place of the Most High. And it is in the secret places that we whisper our supplications unto God. And the Bible says that when we whisper the secret things of our hearts in the secret places of God, that he will bless us openly because we communed with him. In the secret places. Do I have a witness? In other words, you've been concealed. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you've been taken care of. And you have been put in a safe place. The psalmist says that, that this safe place is, is, is like a place being under God's wing. And we know we know what the eagle does when the eagles take over his nest. It's her nest. 
and, and, and take care and nurture uh, the little uh, e eaglets. There is a closeness and a intimacy which God reveals to those who love him. Is it sometimes, amen, that when you get in that secret place and you feel, you feel the eagle of the eagleness of his love, it's there in that place that you, are, you know who God is. And because he reveals himself to us. He is the most high. The alien. He is all powerful. It is because he is the almighty. El Shaddai. He is sufficient for everything we need. By his power, he sustains us. By his power, he protects us. By his power, he provides for us. Amen. He is our God. Elohim. <laughs> he has exceeding greatness. And he knows us personally. Do I have a witness? He comes and he communes with us. I need to tell somebody right through here that God can be to you what he has always been to his children. I heard somebody say that he is the same today as he was yesterday. And he is the same tomorrow from everlasting to everlasting. He's all powerful. He is our all-sufficient one. He is our and always been our faithful one. He is <laughs> and always been our God. He is <laughs> and always been our refuge and our fortress. What it is this morning. That you need him to be with you. I need you to understand that even though he holds us in the hollow of his hands. Even though he shields us from all the pestilence and things in this world. I need you to understand that not only while he's, he's, he's taking care of us. He knows who we are. And he props us up for everything that there is coming against us. The psalmist says and gives us assurance that there is steadfast protection. There is always knowing that he is right there for us. That no evil shall befall us. God will command his angels to take charge over us. That he will protect those who knows his name. That he will give you long life and salvation. But I need to let somebody know right through here that don't take God for granted. Even though he has all these attributes and all these virtues uh, that's ready it for us. You can't take him for granted. God would not always allow us to be beneficiaries of what God has for us. And then run around this world as if we can do all that we want to do and get away with it. There is. A wrath that God has for us. Those sins that, those, that, that does, does so easily besets us. We've got to account for every wrong thing that we've done in this life. And I'm here to let you know that even though we are wrong in our wrongdoings, God will, he still comes and see about us. 
he still comes and holds us in the hollow of his hands. He still comes and grant us grace and grant us mercy. Aren't you glad this morning that there is grace and there is mercy to stand up for us even in the midst of our sinfulness. He will take care of you. Good God Almighty, don't be, don't be thinking that you got God at your beckoning call. No, you can't trust, you can't, you can't try God like that. God is not to be tried. Do I have a witness? My mind goes back, thank you, Holy Spirit, to the time when the devil tried, tried to tempt Jesus. Amen. In the wilderness, he tried to make sure that he comes over to the dark side. But I heard what the word said. Satan tried to test Jesus. Amen. And, and, and Jesus passed every test. I heard the Bible say that the devil took him to a high place in the city and set him on a pinnacle of the pinnacle of the temple. And said unto him, if thou be the son of God, cast yourself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Then I heard Jesus say, Good God Almighty, it's also written <laughs> that thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Do I have a witness? That's good warning. Don't tempt God this morning because you know of all his provisions. Don't tempt God this morning because he's been good to you in the past. Don't tempt God this morning and think you can live any kind of way, but you can't run and you can't hide from God because you're in the palm of his hands. I want to close in just a minute, but I need you to look at verses 14 and verses 15 and verses 16. I mean stanzas. It's a song. It's a song. It's a song. Amen. In 14, 15, and 16, there is confirmation from God of what he will do for those who run to him and, and cast themselves under and be in a refuge to God and be in the secret place of God. There is some confirmations. And the confirmations is in seven words. And those seven words are seven verbs. They are action words. And this is what he will do. He will deliver. He will protect. He will answer. He will rescue. He will honor. He will satisfy. And he will show seven words, words of completion, seven words that says we are rest under his wings, seven words that says it'll be all right in the morning, seven words that says he will be with us no matter what. I like Psalms 91 because God fills me and makes me feel good. He comforts me and he gives me joy and he gives me peace. Do I have a witness this morning? When I read Psalms 91, I found out that God not only gives some good stuff, 
but he reminds us, amen, that God is in control. He reminds us that God is able to deliver us from evil, that God is able to protect us and to keep us safe. Is there anybody here who wants to tap in on God's security system? Not only, not only does it confirm, but it tells us that there are some promises. And the promises is that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. It confirms his promise that if God be for me, who can be against me? Because of the grace of God, he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he came with divine security to let us know that it'll be all right in the morning. Even, good God Almighty, tears fall in the midnight hour. Joy, joy, joy will come. I heard Jesus promise and said himself that if we abide in him and in his word, that he will abide in us. We can ask him what we will, and it shall be done unto him. I don't know what security system you have on your home, but I'm here to tell you it won't beat, it can't beat the security that we find in God and in his son Jesus the Christ. I don't know about you, but I'm glad about the fact uh, that God took his divine uh, security system uh, and hung him on a cross, uh, stressed him wide. Uh, do I have a witness? Uh, I'm glad uh, that they whipped him uh, all night long. Uh, I'm glad uh, that God's security system uh, hung his head and died. Uh, that God's security system uh, whispered in his ear, uh, Father, uh, forgive them, uh, for they know not what they do. Uh, do I have a witness? I'm glad uh, that they took God's security system uh, down from an old rugged cross uh, put it in a buried to a borrowed tomb and on third Sunday morning good God Almighty he got up with all power in his hands to let us know our salvation is secure to let us know that eternal life is ours and all you gotta do is hide yourself in the secret place of God's presence and know that God will come see about you in your hospital room. God will come see about you. You may be locked up behind bars, but God will come see about you. You may be crying in the midnight hour, but God will come see about you. You may be depressed, but God will come lift you up. You may, you may, you may be sad, but God will come make you glad. Your money might be funny, and your change might be strange. Your, your family may walk out, walk out on you, but God will come see about you. I heard the songwriter pick up his pen and write about it. He said, be not dismayed, whatever be tired, God will take care of you beneath his wings. Love abides. God will 
take care of you. God will take care of you through every day, all along the way. God will take care of you. I wish I had a witness uh, through the days of toil uh, when the heart draws fear. Uh, God will uh, take care of you. Uh, when dangers fears uh, your path assail, uh, God will uh, take care of you. Uh, anybody here know that he will take care of you. He will. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. And he will take care of you. I know I got some witnesses. I know I'm surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. When the devil counted you out, God came to you. When the devil said that you wouldn't make it, God came to you. When the devil said uh, that this is your last time, amen, God covered you. He held you in the hollow of his hands. And I need somebody to know this morning that you're in good hands with our Lord and our Savior, Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Give the Lord a hand of praise. God will take care of you. I stand all over the sanctuary. Those of you who are in virtual world, know that God will take care of you. Those here in the sanctuary know that God will take care of you. The doors of the church are open. Thank you, Lord. Be not dismayed. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Lord. If you need security in life. You need re reassurance in life that your destiny is not in jeopardy. No, that we serve a God that will take care of you. This is your time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Has he taken care of you? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. His winning love abides. Thank you. Lord. <laughs> oh, yeah. No longer Yeah. God will. God will. Oh, yeah. Take care. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come to partake of your body, the representation thereof, and your blood. Father, we ask now in the name of Jesus that you transform it from a physical to a spiritual use. We ask, O oh God, that you help us rebuild our spirit man. Help us, dear Heavenly Father, to take on the mind of Christ and to know that you are God and God all by yourself. And to know that we have the opportunity for eternal life in your Son, Christ Jesus. So we thank you for it, dear Heavenly Father, and the opportunity to be able to partake. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us prepare now for the worshiping God in that which our tithe and our offering. Amen. Back unto him so that we might be able to know that God is able to do anything but fail. Amen. Ready your envelopes for the offering. Father God in heaven, we thank you so very much for giving us the heavenly Father the power to give us the heavenly Father the wherewithal to be able, dear Lord, to give back unto thee. However, however frequent you allow us, God, some able to do it weekly, some able to do it monthly, some able to do it biweekly. But Father, we pray that you look upon our obedience, look upon our dedication and commitment to give back unto thee, dear Heavenly Father. Bless both the gift and the giver. Let it be used, dear Lord, for the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And let it be used for the ministry of this church. We bless you, we adore you, we lift you up, we magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
cards we read to the church. It says to the Good Hope, to the Good Hope family, thank you for the flowers, the cards, the food, the calls, the checks. But most of all, thank you for your prayers. Praying the Lord blesses your, your giving heart in abundant measure. Thank you. It comes from Sister Gamble, the Gamble family, and the Matthew family. Amen. Amen. As this is the first Sunday of the month, the eighth month of the year. My God, time waits on no one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We have a uh, birthday card to go to Sister Duncan. Her birthday is on the 17th of the month. Amen. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> All right. And then we have an anniversary this month coming on the 19th of the month. And that will be Brother and Sister Malone. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> how, many, how many years? 20, 20 years. All right, God bless you, God bless you, amen, and they they delivered their son, amen, to school last week, amen, and he gave me a call to let me know that he was there, amen, so we thank God uh, for Brother Tank, amen. And we ask that you govern yourselves accordingly, of course you know for the month of August we will be suspended with our, our Bible Academy, don't forget the seed offering for our anniversary 144 years amen at the um, end of August this month uh, on the 27th I believe it is of this month govern yourselves accordingly we have my son in the ministry amen Reverend Dr. James G coming from Yazoo Mississippi amen to give us uh, the word on our anniversary uh, by this time next uh, next week you will be hearing more concerning our anniversary and the activities that we have planned for that weekend. Amen? Amen. So govern yourselves accordingly. You know, we used to call that home, what is it, homecoming and, 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 and church anniversary. Amen. But if you look, there don't nobody come home that much. Amen. Either they're already gone home. Amen. Or they don't worry about home. But nonetheless, we still celebrate what God has done for the body of this church. Amen. And for how many years he has hel hel held us in the hollow of his hand. God bless you. God bless you. At this time, we want to welcome any visitors that are present. Amen. Would you uh, make yourself known by standing and let, it, let us know who you are? Any visitors in the house? Amen. Everybody's family. Amen. Say, hey, family. Hey, family. Amen. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Uh, to those who are going back to school, and to, to the teachers and to the students, uh, amen, we want to tell you that on, and the parents, that on next Sunday, we will have our uh, back to school prayer over our children. Amen. So if your child is not here, make sure that you are here. Amen. To cover your child. Amen. Amen. We want to make sure that we send them back to school in the on the arms of our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. If all hearts and minds are satisfied, let us stand to receive our benediction. Hallelujah. And we pray that everybody will have a blessed week. Amen. As we go about our daily duties. Father in heaven, we thank you so very much for all the things that you have done for us. We thank you, O oh gracious God, that how you have kept us, how you have held us in the hollow of your hand, how you have lifted us up and how you have kept us secure and safe. Father, we pray now for those who are in virtual world and those who are present in the sanctuary. Lord, we ask that you just hold us. Uh, that you cover us, and certainly that you lead us. So, Father, as we prepare to leave this place, but never from your presence, we ask, O oh gracious God, that you have thine own way. 
We pray, O gracious God, that you cover us and that you keep us safe in your care. And may the love of God, the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, let it rest, rule, and abide henceforth and forever. It is in Jesus' magnificent name we do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. amen. Give him a round of applause. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a blessed week.